I'm Sophie Giuliano and this is Fanola Hughes. Hello. <laughs> and I am showing you in this series how to make organic skincare products for a fraction of the price that anything that you would buy at the store. Also, they're made from incredibly beautiful natural ingredients. Non-toxic, so non fabulous. Non-toxic completely. Good. And that is the scary thing most of the time when you buy even something that's got labels saying natural on it. I know, there's things in there you can't pronounce. No, there's, if you, there's things you can't pronounce, then there's preservatives and a lot yeah. of other things in there that you don't want. Now, scrubs, body scrubs. Mm. Who doesn't love, I love, love? Most girls love men whoever <laughs> loves a body scrub and um, actually they, my son does like them too oh my daughter yeah. love, loves them oh, yeah and they are really pricey very pricey to buy but the, and there, this would be a nice gift it would be a lovely someone. gift yeah. this is called sugar and spice body scrub and is unbelievably easy to make so okay. here's the ingredients that you're going to put in it you're going to put in three quarters of a cup of sugar right. now I'm using this sugar which is is organic no, oh yeah, it's I not this. brown I sugar, sugar, but it's it's just not bleached. Yes, right? it's not bleached. Yeah. So that's what you want. You don't want brown because it's a little bit too sticky. Right. Um, then I'm going to use rose petals. Now rose petals, you can either if you grow any roses in your Spence. garden or you know anybody who does, when they start going at the end oh, of the season, cool. don't let them deadhead them. Keep as many rose petals as oh you gosh, can and do dry that with all... them because you'll use them in so many things. I'll and do if... that with all my roses. Yes, you? absolutely. I'd love I that. that. Or otherwise, it's you can send so away good. to uh, this wonderful company that I was telling you about, okay, Mountain yeah. Rose Mountain Herbs rose. and they'll or herbs, as they say. Oh, yeah. um, the next thing is uh, orange peel and um, I put a little bit of lemon peel in here and then good. you've got ground cloves and you can buy regular cloves and just put them in a coffee grinder okay. and grind them up okay. and then the last ingredient is sesame oil now this isn't the kind of sesame oil that you would use for your Chinese stir-fry okay this <laughs> this is because you don't want to smell like a stir-fry this not really. is not really this is a, a therapeutic grade and okay. it's pure organic sesame oil and how much is in there as you can smell and that there actually is actually doesn't have a very strong smell no it doesn't okay. there's one and a half cups in there okay so little bowl all right. If you want to put in the sugar, okay. we'll go over the ingredients again. We've got right. three quarters of a cup of sugar, organic right. sugar, two tablespoons of rose petals, All right. two teaspoons okay. of the it's orange this? zest and lemon zest. You can either use one or the other, or both. Or both in yeah. this case. Okay. Beautiful. Two teaspoons of ground cloves. I love doing this with the little cups. I feel so. I know. I feel so efficient. It feels so. I mean, Julia-ish. I, you know. I know. I wish that I could always cook like this. I know. Because I make a terrible mess when I cook. And then the All next right. thing is your sesame oil. Go on then. Do I just keep stirring it? Yes, but I would actually stir it with this. Oh, what a proper spoon. Yes. Okay. So if you, you could actually put that in there. Okay. Give it a good stir. And what you'll Ooh. find when you add any oil to sugar or to salt, you can also make salt scrubs as well, is that at first you think that you're putting a tremendous amount of oil in, but the salt or the sugar will soak up a lot of that oil. Now it's nicer to use sugar, isn't it? Because I've heard that it's softer on your skin. It's rather much than, softer. Okay. Yes. And it gets rid of Fanola, that layer of dry dead skin cells that we have had quite a few conversations about. Yeah. So in it goes. Right. Now, with or anything that you're using plant oils or essential oils, you want to store it in a dark glass container. Which is so chic, by the way. Just apart from the fact that it's actually the right thing to do, it just looks so nice and sort of apothecary. Yeah, when you walk into your bathroom, people yeah, are lovely pinky. there. And then you just scroll on the cap and keep it in a cool, dark, Covered, but okay, it smells smell. lovely. It's actually oh easier gosh, it to smell so it in, in that little bowl. Is it? Now what? Now she's going to eat it. No, I'm not going to eat it. And, and what you'll do is, Fanola, it will actually soak in a little bit more the oil, but the right. sesame oil is wonderful because it's so nourishing and moisturizing. So you get into the shower, literally take out a huge glob of it, scrub all over mm. your body, shower off, and then you won't need a moisturizer afterwards. So it'll get oh, rid yeah, of all right, the dead right, right, skin right. cells as okay. well as it'll leave you very well moisturized. That's lovely. So that's it. That is how to make the spicy sugar scrub for a fraction of the price of anything that you would buy. And these ingredients are the best. They're high-end beautiful organic ingredients and as Fanola said it would make the most wonderful gift too. And so, they're gorgeously green. And they're gorgeously green. So remember every time you can do it gorgeously. Mm -hmm.